The Victorian Queen Anne House was built in 1892 by J.A. Taylor, the owner of Morton Lumber Company. It was once owned by Taylor Lindsay from 1892 to 1918. In 1918, the house changed hands to James T. Lindsay, who was once a farmer then became a grocery shopping clerk. James and his wife had 11 children. I believe there were eight girls and three boys. When his children grew up, some stayed in Jackson, Mississippi at the house you're looking at, and others moved out to Florida and other parts of the states to start their own life. Some of them became magazine editors, educators, and government jobs. Apparently, the upstairs was divided into three apartments. Three of James' children, or adults at this point, lived upstairs, and each room had its own doorbell. Each room was filled with really old antique furniture, old books, you name it. Sometime in 1994, John Elizabeth, who was one of 11 siblings, passed away and she was the last living member of the family to live in that house. The name John Elizabeth is a boy name. But it's a girl in this situation because the uh, husband wanted another boy and their final child, kid, was a girl. So he decided to name her John Elizabeth. The house was sold to the next door neighbor and during that time period, no one was ready to move in. The house stayed vacant for many years. There were many break-ins, and the neighborhood it's in is in a very bad part of Jackson, Mississippi. I have no idea what the current owner has in store for this house, but from the looks of things, it's far gone to be saved. The only thing really valuable is the land that it sits on. Looks like we got some visitors. Yeah, somebody might be living behind the house. Yeah, we got some visitors. Hey, puppy. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so uh, someone must. Be, yeah, I think somebody lives back here now. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of dogs out here. Greeted by all these dogs. This is a beautiful house. Well over 100 years old. Definitely historic. Let's make our way around the back. You can get in easily. Probably. There's a hole right there, right in front of us. I'm going to try the front again and just hop through the window. Pretty much. Probably the best way to do it. There is a pathway back here. Or. Is there? Kind of. Yeah, I'm going to go try the front. You got another dog over here. Another one? I think. Oh, that's the same one. He was chilling. Uh oh. I mean, we're all surrounded by dogs today. This is in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, from what I'm here, it's not the best, bestest place to be. You gotta be on your guard over here. You gotta keep an eye out though, but uh, there's no telling how many more dogs are out there, but uh, we may have to sneak back to the front to take a peek over there at the other side of the house. From the looks of things, it's all caved in. And let me turn the camera back around. I'm not walking through all that. 
stuff is taller than me. All right. Over there, it's an abandoned house or maybe an abandoned apartment. It's one of the two. What are those dogs doing? Oh, they're chilling. Is it pretty much just caved in in the floor? Pretty much caved in, but I mean, it looks like you could do Oh, I saw. I saw that. Oh my good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're not getting inside. If you go around, I hope that wasn't poison ivy I got into, but if it was, it was worth a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to walk on that, to be honest. I may just fly the drone inside. Oh, God. Probably from this angle, though. Yeah, I don't, they don't look, here, here's the, you want to take, here, Rick, take the camera real fast and come on your way. You can just show them for a quick quick second so much there all right Try to look too fast. Just be careful. completely like done you can't even move around in here anymore yeah oh man is it all destroyed inside it's all destroyed okay. like this house is pretty much caved in can't really do much. Yeah, because this was hanging up there and then it fell down. Yeah. I'm going to try to go upstairs. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Be safe. All right, I don't think I'm going to walk on that part, but look at that. This is like too damaged. up there a little bit but it was too sketch yeah, they got people walking by and stuff like that i don't think they're gonna do that no probably not you guys need to thank ranger rick for going inside that place because i'm not doing that it's too it's too much for me now let's take a look on the other side of the house real fast Looks at one point that they had stained glass. It's all broken up. This is the ground floor. Sadly, I don't know how much longer this house is going to stand, really. So how safe is it actually upstairs? I'm, I'm not going to step foot up there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because it looks, from the looks of things from this view, from the first floor, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I don't even feel safe being in it. Like, this part is okay. This is fine. Yeah. But like... Anything up the stairs, not really. Sad that it's in this state of disrepair. Let's 
step back a little bit. I'm trying to be careful where I step because it is completely overgrown. And I honestly do not want to step on a snake out here. That's the least. That's something that I really don't want. And it looks like the roof has pretty much caved in right there. Oh my goodness. Just trying to watch out for that step. This is a pathway. I'll slow down to let you all take it in for a second. Alright, let's go back to here. I think winter time is probably the best time to really be out here. Okay, it looks like this is a safe area that I can show you. Let me get that pole out of the window. Oh, out of the way. Just look at that. So yeah, this is literally their backyard. It's a jungle out here. Some of these weeds are taller than I am. All right, let me get out of this tall grass. There's something I want to point out real quickly. I watched another person's video on the place. This in particular was standing up on top of here and it obviously collapsed down. Not sure how recent. Here's some of the markings on the top of it. Kind of reminds me of like a peacock. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask. Are you okay on being on camera? Do you want me to blur you out? Oh, I don't care. Okay, I meant to ask and I completely forgot. I'm oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. The picture too. There's a couch right there. Really? Nice Where? It's not a couch. Oh, I see it. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed the exploration on this Victorian style mansion house out here in Jackson, Mississippi. I have something else that I want to show you before we end the video, which is right down the street from here. So the house we just explored in the history is right here. There's an abandoned house or apartment right there. There's a house right here. And then there's this one up here, which really catches my attention the most. We're probably gonna go to. This one looks like it's really well boarded up. I'll stop right here so you can take a look at it real fast. Pretty crazy. Three houses on this street are abandoned. It's completely boarded up. I'm not going to go inside this one, but we'll take a peek. There's the upstairs and then there's the uh, door in the back. I see a hole right here. Yeah, I don't think that floor is safe. There's a hole over here. 
Yeah, I don't think that's safe to go in, to be honest. At least not this one. I know my limits. But, uh, let's take a peek. Looks like this was a wraparound porch that I'm looking at. is fully made of brick yeah, you just don't see houses like this nowadays I would love to know the story behind this one Not sure how well the neighborhood is in this area in Jackson, but uh, from what I've been told, certain areas, which is pretty much everywhere in the world, they're not safe to be around. Consider that I'm in Jackson, like I said. It varies from spot to spot. All right, well, I just wanted to take a quick peek of the outside of this house. Hope you enjoyed the history the videography, just everything about the house. Three houses down from this one. And of course, you got to see this house. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.